Welcome to Chopstick Travel. We're Luke and Sabrina, and today we're in Mexico City. In this episode, we're going to be taking you around the Centro Historico area, showing you some of the famous sites of Mexico City, and of course, tasting some incredible Mexican street food. It's gonna be a great episode, so make sure you stay tuned until the end. Let's go explore Mexico City. So here in Mexico, tacos are an all day ordeal and one taco that's very popular for breakfast is tacos canasta, which means basket tacos. So we're heading into our first stop of the day for some basket tacos. So tacos canasta are steamed tortillas that are filled with only three options here at Los Especiales and that is the refried beans, the chicharron adobo and chicharron with salsa verde. We went with chicharron adobo and then they have uh, guacamole and you can get some pickles on the side too. So here they are, they're uh, double tortilla and that's the chicharron adobo inside. I'll go for a little dip in the avocado guacamole if I can. Mm. Mm. Super soft chicharron on the inside and the steamed tortillas are really kind of floppy on the outside. It's a little bit dry actually though, but the flavor is nice. It's got a nice kick of uh, garlic and spice in there. Mm. The filling is really smooth. Chase it with a jalapeno here. Oh yeah. Yum. The guacamole definitely helps to um, saturate everything because it is a little bit dry and I really love those jalapenos to chase it with. Mm. Yum. So while these are being cooked, there is hot oil just poured all over those tortillas and you can tell because the outside super oily. Wow, this is a heavy and greasy way to start breakfast, but wouldn't want to have it any other way in Mexico City. Those were some awesome breakfast basket tacos that we just had. And now we're just roaming around nearby at Zocalo. This is the center of historical Mexico City. And as you can see behind me, the Metropolitan Cathedral of Mexico City. And then on the other side of me, you have the National Palace, which is a huge government building in this beautiful square. So we're just gonna roam around before we eat some more Mexican food. do this but we've got a coca-cola because everyone's been telling us that the coca-cola here in mexico is completely different than the coca-cola elsewhere because i guess they use uh, palm sugar instead of regular sugar so let's see if there's any difference yeah actually it is it's like way sweeter really yeah and it's really fizzy i don't know it's better but it's definitely sweeter probably more calories Mm -hmm. Hey guys, I just wanted to interrupt today's video to tell you about today's sponsor, NordVPN. If you use your phone in public spaces on public Wi-Fi, you're really risking having someone potentially steal your data, like your password. So you really cannot have a better solution than NordVPN for protecting yourself in public places while using public Wi-Fi. VPNs have other uses too. For example, when we were traveling in Dubai, we tried to FaceTime our family back home, but it wouldn't let us because there's a restriction in place that doesn't allow you to do that in Dubai. But you can use NordVPN, open up the app, select which country you want from many countries around the world, and with one click of a button, you're connected to a secure server in that country, which allows you to bypass these local restrictions. And we were able to then FaceTime with our families back home. You can get your VPN at nordvpn.com slash chopstick travel, or use the promo code chopstick travel to get two years plus four months at a huge discount on nordvpn.com slash chopstick travel. 
let's get back to the video. Mexicans are known to drink a lot of Coca-Cola and the taste definitely is slightly different, but let's try something a little bit more traditional now. We've come to this place called El Moro for their churros and hot chocolate. So let's go inside this place. It's gonna be really good, I think. We have come to Churria El Moro. This place has been around since 1935 and it is extremely lively, an amazing atmosphere in here. And we have ordered up these, their signature dish, the churros. So these are deep fried dough. It's coming out of this almost pump in the kitchen right into the oil and then they're frying them up golden crispy and then just covering it in this cinnamon sugar. And we also have the hot chocolate. This is the Mexican style hot chocolate. So I'm really curious to see how this tastes. It's super frothy on the top, but I can't wait any longer. I've got to go in for a bite of one of these churros. Ooh, look how big it is. That is massive. Cheers. Of course, it's beyond sweet. The cinnamon sugar is a great combination. And it's just very, very crunchy. And I think that's due to the fact that it's so skinny. They actually make them a little bit skinnier than I've ever seen before, but this is the authentic Mexican version. And yeah, very crispy, served nice and hot, and very, very sweet. All right, the hot chocolate. Check out those bubbles on the top. That looks awesome. Let's give it a try. Oh, Ooh, wow. That kind of tastes like dark chocolate. Should I go for it? All right, I'm gonna dip it in. This is the way to have it. Oh, look at that. This is a sweet lover's paradise. Oh yeah, that's a must. That is really good. Mm -hmm. This is great. Those are some legendary churros, super crispy and with the hot chocolate, it's perfect pairing. We're going to head now to the Mercado San Juan. Check it out, I'm not sure, I think it's a little bit touristy, but let's go see anyway. So this is the Mercado San Juan. There's not a whole lot to see here. There's a fresh fruit and veg section and then there's a couple little places you can sit down and uh, have coffee, little cafes and stuff. And then you can see right here, they've got some kind of strange things like these little grasshoppers that are really famous here in Mexico. We're gonna try them, not here at the Mercado San Juan, but we're gonna wait until we go to Oaxaca. So if you guys haven't already subscribed because we've still got a lot more to see here in Mexico. Not my favorite market, but uh, definitely worth the stop. So instead of eating at the market or any more of these touristy restaurants and stalls in the Centro Historico, we're gonna head a little bit outside, take an Uber to another taco stall that I think is gonna be really good. We've made it to the taco stall. This place is called Tacos El Paisa, and it's a little, well, quite a ways. It was about a five minute drive from the Centro Historico, and just check this pot of bubbling oil out here. So they're famous for their Suadero taco. You can see that he's got the uh, little tortillas that are sitting in that oil and kind of marinating and cooking away. 
just the tortillas and then of course there's tons of meat in there and all kinds of spices and then we have the final product here so the taco suadero is a special cut of meat um, from like the leg where it meets the back let me try to grab one of these they're just little guys i think i might be able to eat like a hundred of these maybe <laughs> Oh yeah, damn, that's awesome. Super, super soft cut of meat. It's extremely tender. The sauce has got a nice kick, and then those fresh crunchy onions in there. And what I love is how like saturated the tortillas are because they've been sitting in that bubbling cauldron of oil. And I love it, you can just hang out at the counter side too while you eat your tacos and watch them cooking all the different, they have a couple different types, but Suadero is definitely the most famous here. So you can see he's just adding all kinds of different things. He's got the onions in there, he's got the, he's putting the peppers in now, all the meat cooking away. And honestly, this might be my favorite taco of the trip so far. Yeah. I had to go back for another one because I forgot to put lime on the first one and because they're just really too good to leave without having as many as you can fit inside of you. And the chef got a little buzz going on. He was just showing me that he's sipping on some brandy. And honestly, you probably want to because that thing is bubbling oil everywhere. I got burned a couple times. Oh my God. Ah, it's so good. Oh, wow, okay, so it's quite the service here. He just gave me the rest of his brandy mixed with some Coca-Cola. So honestly, full service here. Let's try it out. Woo! Strong. <laughs> Holy shit. That's great. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, definitely needs a mix. I think he poured like a half a pint of brandy in this one thing. So you can uh, have the, you can spend the whole day here eating tacos, drinking brandy, hanging out with them. They're really friendly. Delicioso. Okay guys, I might be here all night long. I actually might just move to Mexico City and just hang out with these guys for the rest of my life because, I mean, brandy and coke and uh, Swadero tacos, it doesn't get better than this. That was awesome, super friendly. And now I'm a little buzzed too, just like the chef. <laughs> But honestly, those tacos were another level, weren't they? They were so oh good. Oh that was amazing. The salsa, oh, was, everything. Everything together was perfect. I'm really glad we didn't eat in the touristy area and we just came out here with the Uber. And now we're gonna grab another Uber and head to a famous castle here mm -hmm. in Mexico City. Okay, so that didn't really work out. The castle is closed, unfortunately. I guess maybe because of COVID. Yeah. And uh, we're in this park now that surrounds the castle, which is quite beautiful, but not really sure what we're gonna do next. We are gonna discuss that now. Okay. <laughs> well, since the castle is closed and since we've already started drinking, we figured why don't we just keep drinking? So we're gonna go back to the hotel and order up a couple classic Mexican drinks.
We are back at our hotel tonight and we've ordered a couple more drinks. So we've ordered some classic Mexican drinks, including the margarita made with tequila, as well as just this recommended tequila drink that has only lemon juice tequila and fresca in it. I'm gonna give that one a try. This one's mine. Let's see how it tastes. I think it's gonna be strong. Wow, that is very nice. The bartender was really kind. He was showing me what he was using and it was El Ginnabal uh, tequila. So that tastes really nice. Perfect with the salt rim on the top. And then Luke also has this margarita. Do you want to give it a try? No, you try. Okay. Oh wow, it tastes similar to mine, but it's got a little bit of a spiciness to it. He put in something that's a little bit spicy. Tastes quite different, almost a little savory as well. Uh, I would prefer this one, but yeah, the, the margarita tastes good as well. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was another great day here in Mexico City. I think without a doubt, we can both agree that the best thing today was those tacos, oh Suadero. Gosh, yes. They were incredibly delicious. I definitely recommend it. And if you guys want to check out any of the places we visited today, all of the information's down in the description box. Make sure if you haven't subscribed, hit the bell icon so you're notified, and we'll see you on the next episode of Chopstick Travel. Cheers. Bye. Bye.